<clears throat> Hello, uh, Narissa back again. Um, today I'm going to share a journal, another journal in use. One that I finished uh, uh, a, little, a little while ago, but I bought this off of Etsy from Mary Beth Hancher, I think her name is, like a long time ago when I first started doing junk journals. Um, so I'm just want to do a quick flick, um, flip. I'm not going to really try to talk about everything that's in here, but just another video that shows a, a journal in use. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. All the pages aren't used up, but I'm done with it. So it could be some blank spaces, but I'm okay with that. Maybe uh, one day I'll go back into it and um, kind of look to see if I want to fill up anything else. But as you can see, I write even on the scrapbook paper. This was when I just got that what is that? That um, camera that that camera that takes those instant those instant photos. I forgot what it's called. So I was just messing around with it. But just showing even the journals I buy, they're always in use. Just flip, flip. I don't want you to see it. I try to <laughs> try to hide it, but it's not too personal. There's one. I put this probably in almost every journal I make, and then that's me with my crown on. Jurassic World. <laughs> Um, those I got for teacher appreciation. And then there was Mary Beth's thank you note. Teacher of the year. Or of the month or something like that. You didn't write nothing on that. Nothing in that pocket or anything here. It's me and my daughter. This extra pictures that I felt like didn't need to be on a whole page. My, I, I take a picture of my favorite favorite journals. I'll write about them. My friend's business card with the shirts she makes. Some more of my faves. And couldn't figure out anything to do with those cards, so but I'm finished, so or not. Like I said, I can always go back. That's one of my favorite pages. And my daughter and her cousins and family and stuff like that. I wish I had the Tiffany and Company stamp. <laughs> I'm waiting to order that. Let's 
I looked through this book so much. Shuckins. <clears throat> I didn't write on any of the tags, and I usually do. I made that um, altered clip a long time ago. I didn't put nothing on there. This one I've seen Beauty and the Beast. You can tell it's a long time ago. That came out a long time ago. Um, I think I wrote on it. No. I never give up. And I actually stamped that myself. I think that was, I don't know, teacher of the year, teacher of the month, whatever the heck I got. When I used to try to do art journaling or mixed media, but I just like that one. My favorite packing tape. I guess I could put my name in there. But anyway, that was one of my one of my favorites that I bought from Mary Beth Hancher. And I'm going to see if I can squeeze this in too. I totally forgot about this um, traveler's notebook that I had. It was actually for Christmas. But it's so pretty. And I don't know. I, I thought I videoed it. I don't know if I lost it or what. But I bought it from Creative Cafe Girl. And it's not um, attached in here right now because I'm not using it anymore since it's Christmas. But if I can make it with this five minutes left, then I'll go on and do a flip through. But I mostly use her stuff. And added, kind of added to it. Uh, this is when I went to see Coco. We got... <laughs> I never really understood those these Day of the Dead images until I watched that movie. So maybe I videoed this, but I don't know. It's a lost file. But I wrote on everything, mostly Creative Cafe Girl put in here. I didn't put too much of my own stuff. I added that because it's cute. beautiful card for the nice message i love that image and i actually even wrote on this crinkle paper which was kind of hard but i did it i think one of these tags was from mindy langevin whenever i um did a swap with her and then i just did a collage of our ugly sweater day at school, which I actually missed, but those are the photos that were captured. It's me and my girls. Um, she had that in there and I just wrote around it. My dog coming in to bother me. Um, yeah, glad the pictures aren't big. I don't have to worry about media release and stuff. Um, I think these were what? Oh, the kids' Christmas list and extra pictures that maybe one day I'll put in there. Here's my favorite. I love these at Christmas time. And I was making these as gifts for my coworkers. And I kept, kept one for myself. That's another tag from Mindy that I stuck in there. She gave me an abundance of tags. This is my friend's wedding when she got married um, over Christmas. Let's 
don't really know what those are. It's funny, you have to go back and read this stuff. This collage of our day on Christmas. This was about my secret Santa. And she played a prank on me. It was so cute. Snow in Texas. My friend's annual Christmas card with her kids. I think those were some of the gifts I got. And then I love this. Whatever I ordered came. Someone painted on it. Whatever thing I ordered, they painted it. And I just couldn't bear to throw the packaging away. It's so beautiful. Just look at that. So cute. And then even the this came inside of it. So pretty, I had to keep it. It says, nothing but a sticker collage with some stamping. I loved it. I did not know what to, I could do with these stickers, but it actually told, tells a story of the birth of baby Jesus and the three wise men. There was her, um, thank you. I didn't write on that. There. me just stamp that on there so pretty little tag it's us on pajama day this is when we were going out for Christmas break another tag from Mindy I uh, love that um, Charlie Brown Christmas. Yeah, that was just a Christmas card for my friend. My daughter's makeup. Christmas card. And that's it. So I just wanted to share with you all a couple of things I had been writing in and working on. So um, I hope you like them. But those are just a few things you can do, you know, with your journals that you make or purchase. Until next time, this is Nerissa. Bye-bye.